and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, we're going to go over the Madden market. Now, the market's completely flipped price wise. Honestly, I, I did not see this coming. I guess it's because of the lack of it's a lack of content. You know, I, I've been telling you guys this theory of Madden for a long time now, but this year's been harder to see it because we haven't had too many downtimes in Madden like this one. I always tell you guys during Madden Limbo, prices start to skyrocket and people don't take advantage of it. Like, personally, this is a weirder Madden. I, I do got to give you guys that. It is a slightly weirder Madden to take advantage of because they've implemented so many chemistries, abilities, power ups, chem, like so many things that. It makes it hard to just sell players with free free will whenever you want to but at the same time the market's flipped and it was just at the worst it's ever been and now it's good again but that's because we got eight ultimate legends and then two more we get another two today but that's not enough we're gonna need like a big content drop so until the mvp promo or the combine promo or another big ultimate legend drop happens market could be flipped we're in a, we're in a heavy madden limbo right now heavy madden limbo i don't know when it's gonna stop when well, hopefully these promos drop soon because we can't go like this forever um, it's, I'm, I'm not used to having no content for days on end, but at least today we had some, sort of. But guys, before we get into the video, make sure you're down below. Go hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, come join the family. Comment down below what you guys are doing during Madden Limbo, and are you going to be selling some of your team off? And give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get this video to 200 likes? Greatly appreciated. Now let's head over to the auction block. Guys, we're super close to 20k, but I don't know. Things have slowed down a little bit. Madden Limbo is killing me, man. It's killing me. So over to the 88 indicator. I doubt this really, I like honestly, like I said, I, it can't really show too much anymore because of where it's at. And it's going to be, it's soon, it's not going to show anything because we're at a weird spot, like with 18K. The market's up, but it's at 18K because lower pieces just aren't that valuable anymore. Heading down to the 90s, we really can't be using just a base legend filter anymore because legends just aren't, they're kind of, they're rarer now, to be quite honest with you. That's crazy though, John Elway for, 40, for 40K. Honestly, this is one of the most useless cards this year. It was one of the best, it was like the best day one card. But it really was never that good. And now people actually used it. It's kind of weird. He's been around for a while. Only got his NFL 100 upgrade. Guys, the one beauty of all these legends being so cheap. I'm going to be honest with you. If there's a legend that you guys really want, right? If there's a legend that like you want badly. Like you know you want Kevin Mawai. Or you know you want um, Anthony Munoz. Or you know you want someone. I highly recommend. You go ahead and pick their base legend up for super cheap right now. And you wait for them. Because Marcus Allen day one was 30 or 20k. As soon as he came out, he was 80k. Now, eventually, he came back down, I believe, but still, you don't want to have to be waiting. So, there's a legend that you want. I recommend you just scoop him up and you just chill. Because you don't want to be stuck and not being able to pick one of them up. Let's head over to the 99, 92 to 93s. Let's see, they're looking like they're 79k, but they're probably even a little cheaper than that. Let's filter out by Ultimate Legends. Yeah, 80k, okay, that's not horrible. Let's see what the Redux are looking like, guys. I did tell you guys to pick up julius peppers redux i wonder if that ended up panning out i never exactly checked it calvin johnson that's wow that's crazy cheap let's go check out julius peppers redux where are you 206 yeah i told you guys to buy him when he was like 120 not to mention you probably sold that day for like 270 when he first came out dion's coming down too guys again dion's a solid one in my opinion dion randy and vic are solid pickups for multiple reasons but the main one being that dion's gonna get an ultimate legend soon and he's there's gonna be a part of the power up chain. Now me, I'm fine. I already have him powered all the way up, so I don't have to pick him up. But nothing is worse than these re stupid mutt ten redux cards. You're powering them up like triple miles redux is 400k when I had to do it. I recommend you get them now because last thing you wanna do is have to pay 600 for a Deion Sanders, plus 400 for his NFL 100, plus 300 for his redux. And his redux is a lot more rare than the other ones. Randy Moss, same thing. Now, I don't know if I'll actually end up picking up Randy Moss uh, simply because I have Calvin and they're going to be the same card. I don't really need two type of Calvins. And then Vic, I think Vic will probably be my endgame quarterback. So, maybe that'd be a smart idea for me to pick him up. I just got to get the coin stack up. But beyond that, I see Paul Miles so crazy expensive. There's not much more from the Redux that I really want. I do want to, I do kind of want Calais Campbell though because I do want to power him up. But at this point, I'm not really sure if I'm going to do that because I'm kind of broke. Yeah, you guys, are, you guys know what's going on right now. But let's move beyond that. Let's go to the 9495s. The Redux list is finally updated here. Guys, a pretty decent investment for you guys to be making. Let's see where it is. It's going to be this Chris Johnson Redux. Because I'm letting you guys know, almost almost every year ever, the Combine Hero is a Chris Johnson. And I think this year, I'm going to actually go for it. Now, obviously, Chris Johnson won't be better than Bo uh, 
trucking wise but i don't truck at all i really haven't used his bruiser ability at all so i think i'd rather take the fact that chris johnson's gonna be way more agile gonna have way more acceleration gonna have way more speed gonna have the same carry just about gonna have way better catch and gonna have better elusiveness and what's his juke and spin his juke and spin is going to be his spin's gonna be an 85 which isn't great but his juke's gonna be 92 I just think Chris Johnson is going to be a very versatile athlete considering right now he's 94. Go take him up to 99. At 99, he probably ends up with like a 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 agility, probably 99 elusiveness, and a break tackle probably get close to like a 94. I'm telling you guys, Chris Johnson's going to be overpowered. I've never used him, so I think this year I'm going to go for it. I'm just letting you guys know. I'd recommend you pick him up as soon as possible. He is a 94, though, so I mean, you can use a power pass on him, but that's still going to be kind of expensive. All right, let's, let's, get, up, let's get up on the market now. We've spent a lot of time there. All right, so 96, 97 is the Redux is here. Nothing too great in my opinion. Nothing, nothing really interesting there. Let's go over to the Ultimate Legends and then Team of the Year, obviously. So, two guys, this is where the markets really—you can really see the markets flipped. Look at the 96s, right? Pretty much this is what happened. In, in a nutshell, all the cards that were overvalued came down a little bit, and all the cards that were undervalued skyrocketed up. So Shannon Sharp was like 240, now he's 278. Okay, he came up a little bit, not bad. These aren't, these aren't bad. Brian Rocker was like 280, now he's 307. Came up a little bit. Brian Waters came up. Now, here are some of the bigger ones that you're going to notice. Troy Palomalo came down from 400k to 344. He was overvalued. I don't really think so because he's amazing, but at the same time, a 96 shouldn't be that expensive. Then, Walter Jones, who I got for like 260, I mean, uh, yeah, 270, 260, is now 346. He was way undervalued. A 97 should not be that cheap, especially being an end game left tackle, but that, but that is where we, we stood that day. So, I, I told all you guys, pick him up for that price. Hopefully, you guys listen because if you did not, that really sucks. Warren Sapp came up again, too. Another 97 that shouldn't be there. Now, Calvin came down a little bit, but not enough, in my opinion. Calvin did come down because he was overpriced. Marcus Allen's overpriced, too. We you know why Marcus Allen's so expensive? Because the issue with Marcus Allen is that he came out on a day with only two Ultimate Legends, and a lot of people popped packs. When the 8 came out, everyone opened so many packs. It was the first drop, so there was an influx of them. There was too many. There was too many on the market, and not many of them were loved, so there wasn't a high demand. Now, Marcus Allen came out on a day with only two of them, so him and the other guy are expensive. Julius Peppers. Now, honestly, Julius Peppers is good, right? He's not hes not crazy, but he's good. But he's not 530K. He's not. Calvin's amazing. But I really don't think he's 45 either. I think Max, I'd pay for any card on this list right here. I think Max, I'd pay is 400K. And that's what I did. I used Calvin with the power pass, and I paid about... I think I did the set for Troy for like 360. That's kind of like what it came to. But these cards are crazy expensive right now as you guys can see calvin did come down a little bit marcus allen crazy expensive peppers crazy expensive walter jo like they're worth it don't get me wrong they're worth it but they did a flip from where they were they were crashed last week so i'd recommend if you guys have anything to do right now do not be buying if anything it's a seller's market and then i, I recommend you wait until this saturday maybe another big drop of ultimate legends maybe team mvps once everything else drops guys i'm telling you guys this is the market the market did a dip and now it's slowly like hanging on by a thread trying to come back up and then the new promo is going to cut it right there. It's going to be done. Everything's going to drop. And that should be the end of uh, markets coming back up after that. Because we're going to get an influx of like 98, 97, 99s. So it, should, it shouldn't be too long before that happens. Now let's check out real quick the team of the year cards. Because they came up a lot too. I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with them. I did not mean to click that. They went up too, guys, by the way. Super Bowl pass cards went up. If you don't remember, they were super cheap. Steve Young was like 290, 300K. Now right here, 252 for the worst possible team of the years. In the 96 category. If you remember, they were like 205, 195, 210. Joel Batonio, Tredavious White, Michael Thomas. Guys, I just bought Zach Martin for 215 a few years ago. Now he's 260. You guys can see right here. Calais Campbell is 210. Don't get me wrong. I, I want to pick up Calais. I think he's awesome. I don't think I don't think he's worth it considering what everyone else is going for. Luke Keekley, 270 now. Joe Adams is 210 after the Tillman and uh, Palomalo and everything came out. George Kittle, 230. Let's keep seeing. A lot of things skyrocketed up. Let's see if we can find some newer cards down here that we haven't talked about shit. Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald's worth it, don't get me wrong, but he was just 310. He was just 310. Russell Wilson was like 295, 300K. Things really skyrocketed back up. Now, I couldn't give you, I told you guys the reason is going to be mad in limbo. That's like, there's no other reason or rhyme or reason for why this has happened. Even these lower ones, like, I've been wanting Zane Gonzalez, guys, and I'm waiting for him to come out to like 150, 180, and he just keeps going back up. And then there's 240. Then even after that, the 250. There's only a few of them on there. I really don't know what to do at this point. I mean, cards are coming up. I'm, I guess I'm just going to keep building my coin stack for now. Keep chilling. Keep just doing what I got to do. And then hopefully, by the time it's time to buy some more cards and some more promos came out and things have come down a lot. It's kind of what I'm hoping for at this point. Now, for the final filter, it's going to be the 98 to 99s. And as you guys know already, these filters are going to be crazy expensive. Nitro Lane did crash, though. That's awesome. 1.38 mil. Still a 
1.39 mil. Still way too expensive for my blood, but he's definitely getting there. If he gets down to like 500k, I'll definitely pick him up. Or I'll wait for like a series of uh, six power pass, which kind of sucks to say because we just got one. But guys, that is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the boys. Come join the family. Comment down below what you guys are doing with the market right now. Are you selling? Are you buying? Which would be dumb. Or are you waiting? And make sure to comment down below. Let me know what's going on. And give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 200 likes in this video? If you're an OD gang and you made it this far, always let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.